Hey guys, welcome back to another RASK programming tutorial and this is where I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use the span element in HTML. So the span element can basically use to cover a selection of text and then what we can do is we can like apply special styles to that text. So it could be highlighting, could be putting in italics, but you can really do anything to the text. So it's a special way of highlighting text, I suppose. So here's an example. Let's say I've got some text here, and I suppose you could also do it with any like any number of elements, but I think it's specific for text. So let's create a span element there, and I'm just gonna put some of this text in. Obviously, you likely just dynamically using JavaScript, but let's just find this span element. Oh, I need to okay, here it is. So yeah, here's our text. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to target a span element using generic one since it's the only one we have. And yeah, now what I can do is specially style this text. So could do something like text decoration underline, and that would underline the text over here. We could also apply a bigger text so we can make the font size within the span element extra large that will make this bigger and yeah you can see I can just do whatever I want to this text now you might be thinking why not just use a div because it would accomplish the same thing but you need to remember that in HTML5 it's important that we use semantics to clearly explain how a website works especially to make it more accessible because if you were thinking like that then you could always just use divs instead of bodies <laughs> actually not that extreme but you could just use divs everywhere like for headers, you could just use a div. For a h1 tag, you could just use a div with a special style. So it's not really about why not use div, because if you wanted to, you could use a div. But span is a specialized thing for this kind of thing. And that's why it's really useful. Now, a really cool thing you can do with span is actually set the background color. So we can do something like set background color to, we're gonna make it a, green but I'll make it transparent so that we can still see the text behind it and let me just make body text larger okay so now what you can see I've done is I've basically highlighted this text and one thing you might want to do is let's say the user wanted to you wanted to highlight a specific text to use it well let's say this is the <laughs> word we have if I just replace this now obviously you do this dynamically using JavaScript, but let's say I'm just gonna simulate it here. So what we do is we do a search and replace on a string, search for the word and then replace it with that word inside these span tags. And you'll see if I replace it like that, we've got span tags around it. And now, oh, what's going on here? Uh, might be because I've got this span tag here. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, there we go. And I should have put a dash there, but you get the idea. Oh. Why does it keep doing that? Okay, yeah, there you go. You get the idea. So if I were to replace this using JavaScript, then what I've basically done is I've just enabled myself to highlight some text to the user. So that's another really cool use, and it's one you'll see at a lot of places because most things, it's quite difficult to highlight text any other way, but using span tags becomes a lot easier. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. That was how you use span tags in HTML. Bye!